we're back at the Caymans with the uh, famous chef from the Eagle Ray Bar and Grill. We have Steph McDormand. We have Roger Muller. And we're back in Paradise. We just... Siva. Siva. Chef Siva. We just came up with a question that we forgot. And it's interesting to know uh, when chefs are preparing live fish that they really want anybody bringing the live fish on their own to the restaurant to cut the spines off and take the responsibility for cleaning the fish because they don't want to get spined. Yeah. And we forgot to ask the chef if he ever got stung before. And here he is, he's going to tell us right now. You got stung by a, yeah, a lionfish? Line How? Actually, the customer has been getting the lionfish. He forgot to cut off the spines. When he come here, I was like asking him, to, why don't you cut down the spines? When he was go down, he don't see any divers. So I take the responsibility to cut down. When I was cutting down, the one of the spine like it turned to my finger and it got poked. Uh, like it was like a few minutes, like uh, it got like hurt for me. Then I was like cut it out by fillet, everything done. After like five minutes, like later, my hand got like swelling up. Like it start from my finger till my elbow, like whole finger, like within like 30 minutes, everything is done. And so what happened? What'd you do? When it got like hurt in my finger, I was calling the diver, like da his name is Das. And he was telling me to put down the hot water, the really hot water. Okay. I was keep on like putting my finger in the hot water, it doesn't work. And another half an hour I went to the hospital. And what happened in the hospital? They gave me the um, injection for the, uh, what do you call that, something in the medical term they used to tell the thing. Uh, oh, uh, for to reduce the pain and uh, it's swelling. Uh, to get out the venom out. Yeah. So they give me injection and another half an hour I'll be alright. Were you okay after yeah, that? Yeah, just like that. Wow, just like I, went, I went like two days suffering in Panama. No, the pain was like dead, but only for when, till I'm getting the painkiller. Till I'm getting the painkiller, the pain was in my finger like it was horrible. So within five minutes from here, it spread over to here. Yeah, so five to ten all... minutes, like whole my hand was like, you know, wow. start from like a swelling or, you know, what you call for frozen. I don't have any shake or I don't have any yes. movement. Wow. You had shake? Sorry? You, you were shaking? No, my my hand is totally it's not swollen. Swollen. Oh, so you, could you move I your fingers? I don't have any movement in my hand. Wow, wow. Yeah. Were you scared? At that moment, I was really scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we might be interviewing one of the uh, first chefs that admit that they got stung by a lionfish. Yeah. So you were in the kitchen, or you were? Sorry. Where were you cleaning the fish? I used to clean the fish in the kitchen. Right? In the kitchen. Yeah. Wow. So Oh, so now I, I just noticed in the kitchen there's a sign, don't clean lionfish in the kitchen, no spines allowed. <laughs> um, so. No, actually we don't we don't allow the lionfish with the spines. That's when they like you know one of the customer was coming and, and he was searching for the diver, nobody was there. So I take the responsibility. So it hit uh, the first time that was since in this five years that was the first time for me. And after that I don't allow like any lionfish with the spines. If they're coming with the spines, I tell them sorry guys, we don't cut the lionfish with the spines. Backwards. <laughs> no problem. Um, all right, so I was down on the uh, dock two days ago, and I got four lionfish, and I was cleaning them, and I made sure that I didn't leave the spines around because I actually have I have a friend, um, Altan, and he lives in Jamaica. He's a boat captain, uh, instructor for Patty, and he works in... Um, White House, uh, Jamaica, okay. and what happened is we were lionfish hunting, came back in the boat, he dumped the um, container in the boat with the fish, moved the fish underneath the seat so they wouldn't be in the way. Unfortunately for him, and my, my, my friend's uh, Port Indian actually, he's half Jamaican, half uh, Indian, uh. he ended up uh, walking across the other side of the boat and stepped on a little tiny broken spine. Uh. He just barely touched it and he ended up, this is in uh, Thanksgiving this year. He ended up uh, really in a lot of pain, so I told him probably best idea is go sit in a hot tub because the water's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. So he sat in there for like an hour, and it, it actually uh, helped him feel much better. But um, I've never met a chef that got stung by a lionfish, so that's pretty interesting. And I think uh, you might be the first one on Lionfish University that they're going to um, hear from the first chef that's ever stung. So the thing is, you're not touching any lionfish again. You mean... You're not gonna. You're not gonna be cleaning lionfish. It's like not worth it, right? Yeah. I, I actually have a pair of gloves uh, in my bag. That I can show you that they're um, needle-proof gloves. Uh, I think it's the uh, Akona makes them, and um, I got it through uh, lionfishhunting.com. They um, 
have gloves that if you you can take your finger and like kind of poke this the spine so that can hurt it all. Yeah. But it's it's a it's kind of difficult. Also, I have um, long scissors, and so I have friends that'll use like scuba scissors. Yeah, and yeah. Also, people use the scissors only they have to cut down the scissors like. Tick, tick, tick. And then by mistake, yeah, they go along the yeah, this way. And we have our diagram here. Yeah, when and you cut this way, this is the best one. When you go this way, this is not a good one. Yeah, because it breaks, they break off. Yeah. So the, you have to it go... You turn around at your finger back. You need to go from this the way, back to the way. front. Mm -hmm. And then front. also there's, there's spine and we are, here. we are two. Okay. That two. You need to be careful when you cut down here also. Okay. We have the spine toes here also. Um, also like her. Steph's going to keep on interviewing for a minute about getting stung. And I'm going to go get my gloves and lionfish. Um, so when you got stung, like, did your hand change color when it swelled no, 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 no. up? It just swelled up. Just like that. You, you have the feelings, right? When you swell it up, mm -hmm. you know action or no, like, you know feelings. So it just, wow. Like but color, same like this, my hand is in the hand. Like, like, were you scared you were going to die? Like, no, not like that. <laughs> the first time when I was, like, feeling it. Like a pain, it was yeah. killing me. So and can you like describe that pain? Like, uh, I can show you. Like, I can take a pin and I can poke you like this. Just, just wow. It was paining like somebody on my finger or something. Multiple times, just yeah. at it. Like, it was like whole started on my hand. Oh, that's oh, those are some big scissors. All right, so we recommend to Chef if he's ever gonna clean any fish again to have. So you get one in the leg or if you get one in the foot. So 
when you're cleaning lionfish and you're in a windy environment like the king outside, is, yeah, outside, don't, that's not a good one. Don't, don't be leaving the spines around where someone else can step on them. Don't be, watch out for the wind. And even uh, another thing too, when people are taking pictures of lionfish, they're so happy. Hey, chef, look, I got a lionfish. And then with the chef, and then the thing's still alive a little bit, and they drop it, and a lot of people get stuck in the foot. Sure. Or, that's why whenever we cleaned it also, we don't put the particles in the garbage. Okay, we, we interesting. We put it in the cover. And we make, we make it stay like visible. When you throw in the garbage, then we move to the garbage and we throw in the garbage. But like in the kitchen garbage, we don't then just like so, the So garbage. when you're cleaning, this is really interesting, I've never heard of this. So when you do like, like, take the spines off the lionfish, yeah. you put it in a separate, separate cover. Separate cover. Separate so cover and don't mix with the garbage. Because things are so the regular stuff. So when they grab it or they oh walk my God. it, put it in without your clothes or something. Or right? hands or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's like glass. stays in the spine. No idea. Um, any idea if you put... Uh, um, no, actually from my knowledge and I heard about this thing, once they cut it out the, sp um, Spine? the spines, maybe in another 5 to 10 minutes, the venom is 5 to 10, okay. So now... It's not a true story, but I'm... Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I don't, I don't know. Even I don't know. Because the you. thing is, it's like, oh, um, next time I uh, come to the Caymans, I'll have Steph uh, take a fish and like spike herself in, in, uh, no, after know. five minutes and then no. I'll have the chef do it after yeah. ten minutes. I don't want to check I'll it do out. it. I'll do I'm it after like you. the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm checking with you guys because you're from the university, right? Whether yeah. you have done a research but on But the thing is, you I... You also bake it. You can put it in the oven and you bake it. I heard the heat, the high heat will take away... Yes. Yeah, maybe it will, better we can put it in the yeah. water and but boil But the thing is, I don't know myself and Steph doesn't know either. Yeah, like how long me. can you get stung by a lionfish? Like... Is it like two hours? Is it ten minutes? Or, but I know if you heat them up, that most likely. But you know, there's not many people that are crazy enough to go and test. Yeah. Uh, you it know. It happened unfortunately then. We yeah. Know, right. Yeah. Yeah. So when it was stung me, it was like five to ten minutes. I wanted to take uh, antibiotic. Yeah, I I got so, stung in the thumb. I was ready to cut my finger off. So it was that painful. So it's like. So you know what's the pain. Oh yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I I definitely not. Uh, Clean life, just wear gloves and stuff like that. But so. all right. So. Yeah, the flag. Thank you, Chef. Sorry. The flag. like uh oh, you went flying off the top. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, thank Chef. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye. And again, where do you work? Okay. Where I work. Yes. What's the address? So if if um, my friends want to come to the Caymans or anybody that follows Lionfish University or is it's it Diamond? Eagle Ray Restaurant. Okay, Eagle uh, Ray Restaurant. Yeah, and where's it located? It's in Ocean Frontier. Yeah. Ocean East Frontier, end. east end of the Caymans. Cayman Island. Is there a special town it's part of? So it's a uh, other part. I mean, like it's a other state, right? Okay. Like in Georgetown, East End. Okay. It's other part. Like when you know East End, everybody used to know about you. Uh, east End, that's it. East okay. End is a part. And if you go too far, you end up at uh, Tuka? Tuka is just, um, uh, so, just half a mile from here. I'm saying if you go past the restaurant, Eagle Ray, yeah, you'll see Tuka, you got to turn around and go back about a half mile. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. And then you can come see the famous chef. It'll make you lion fish. Okay. See you, Thank chef. You Steph, thanks for all your help. And you see you guys soon.